Hello and welcome back to my channel. Students, as you all know, in this problem series, we have already taken up 18 problems and it includes uh, some of very important topics of general organic chemistry like aromatic behavior, anti-aromaticity, carbocations, carbene ions, acidity, basicity, resonating structures, etc. Now, uh, let us try to understand what is there for us in question number 19. Now, as you can see on your screen, you have a compound. Now, this compound has got two carboxylic groups attached at two different points. One is having hydrogen number A and another is having hydrogen number B. You have to predict the order of acidities of these A and B. Uh, now, as you all know what we are going to do, we are going to take away the hydrogens A and B one by one at a time. We will create the conjugate base, the anion. We will see the stability of that conjugate base, the anion. Higher the stability of that conjugate base, more acidic the hydrogen will be. So is our uh, theme is our motto before we have started checking their stabilities, their acidities. Now, let uh, the first we are going to pull away is the hydrogen number A. But before we have started pulling the hydrogens one by one, I want to emphasize on a very important feature of this compound. Okay, what is that feature? Let us try to see. You understand this was our compound we have in the previous slide. In this compound, you understand these are the two COH group as you can see and there is a very important group called as methoxy group. This is oxygen and from here you understand a methyl group is there. This methoxy group has got a very important feature. This can exert a plus M effect and minus I effect. The first effect is very important in our context. The second will also come in the play afterwards. From the plus M effect, what I am trying to say will illustrate by doing that also. It can give the lone pair through resonance effect to the group to a, a conjugated group it is directly attached with. So its lone pair can go in resonance in conjugation if there is a pi system which is directly attached to it now because it is giving electrons through resonance or in this case mesomeric effect it is plus m group and uh, how that is uh, being operated let us try to understand now as you can understand this lone pair is in conjugation how lone pair single double so I have delocalized this lone pair like this and these pi electrons are going to sit on this particular carbon and bring a lone pair and a minus charge so as you delocalize these lone pair this lone pair you understand the electrons goes away from the oxygen a plus charge comes and a pi bond is created and on this carbon you can see a minus charge and a lone pair arrived now uh, again you uh, are looking at uh, more possibilities the next possibility is this is a minus charge single bond and double bond so again you are going to delocalize it like this and the pi will shift on this carbon bringing a minus charge and a lone pair so from here you will get the structure in the uh, as i have drawn in the lower part now again you see there is a minus charge and is again in conjugation with the pi system how minus single double so what you have to do you have to delocalize these electron one position ahead and these pi electrons are going to sit on this carbon so a new pi bond will be created as you can see in the next structure and the older pi bond is now sitting as a lone pair and a minus charge comes on this carbon not just this there are more possibility and this minus charge is found to be again in conjugation how minus 
single double so this is going to delocalize that like this and these pi electrons are going to sit on this particular carbon bringing a lone pair and minus charge at this carbon now once you have drawn all these structures you should then think about what was the need i was drawing all these structures the need is crystal clear the presence of the methoxy group at this position you understand the presence of methoxy group has created certain differences and what those differences are you should understand because of its plus m effect it causes some carbon of the system to carry the minus charge at the same time rest of the carbons do not carry the minus charge or the minus charge does not come to a carbon which is not in conjugation it does the minus charge is not coming on all carbons some carbons are getting the minus charge some are not getting that was my aim to uh, make you all focus on this point and now i am going to tell you the important thing now if you want to know about the acidities i have made a very important and very useful resonating structures you just take the hydrogens out both a and b okay just i am doing this just for the comparison sake of comparison now again as i drew the resonating structures in the previous line i have drawn the structures and you can immediately observe the minus is coming this carbon it is coming now this carbon and it has skipped this particular carbon and the minus charge did not come on this carbon it just plunged from it just hopped from this position to this position so you can see now the minus here then minus will come here and finally minus came here now if you visit all these structures if you scrutinize all these structures properly you will now come to a very important and very uh, usual uh, conclusion very natural conclusion what is that you understand if this group gives away its proton this is the result a carboxylate group is going to be created and there the minus charge should get delocalized i mean you don't have to increase the minus charge any more the most you can do is to disperse it if you are accumulating the minus charge in the nearby areas these two minus charges will then repel each other strongly and the same case is happening if you had removed the hydrogen number a the upper hydrogen as you understand this was our hydrogen number a so that is what i am trying to say if you had removed the hydrogen number a the minus came on this group making it carboxylate and because of the plus m effect of the methoxy group the minus comes just neighborhood of this carbon and there is a strong minus minus repulsion so the methoxy group ensures that this carboxylate is not stable because instead of dispersing the minus charge you are intensifying it and because of this intensification the repulsion is increasing and the stability is decreasing on the other hand there is a relief with the removal of the hydrogen number b relief in comparison to a why because to this carboxylate the minus is not coming in this vicinity in this nearness as it comes for uh, in the case of a so removal of the hydrogen b is relatively a better option because now the carboxylate group will not be repelled as you see the repulsion will happen in the case of a when the once the two negative charge comes on two adjacent carbons as you can see in this particular structure so this is a very important uh, uh, issue which i am trying to say and i have already uh, 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 drawn a uh, diagram and as you all can see this is the carboxylate group and now as you all can remember 
the minus was coming here because of plus m but it did not come this position so that makes the b a better option first of all so the role of plus m i have already explained now comes the role of inductive effect and that is what i have tried to explain here you understand this oxygen is electronegative and because of electronegativity it pulls the sigma electrons so it's a minus i group and the minus i it may be plus i it may be inductive effect is a function of distance it depends on distance as you increase the distance its effectiveness decreases drastically so you understand as it is electron pulling group through sigma electrons this carboxylate group is nearer to this group on the other hand this carboxylate group is much uh, farther away from this uh, methoxy group so because of its minus i effect the methoxy is going to stabilize this carboxylate this anion more in comparison to the above anion so not just the plus m effect is harming the removal of hydrogen number a the minus i effect is also not doing any good to that carboxylate group on the other hand the carboxylate group uh, created by removal of b the methoxy is at least sparing it by not giving a minus charge in the uh, nearest neighborhood first of all and the second of all the minus i is operating in a better manner by pulling the electron by dispersing the minus charge in case of b in uh, in comparison to a so was a beautiful problem based on very simple a uh, logic very simple concept of mesomeric effect as well as inductive effect so you should keep bothering about how to do such type of problems because is all about itj i hope you all must be looking uh, having a good look on all the problems and especially the way i am explaining the concepts i am trying to build in uh, involve uh, during the discussion of of these problems uh, i hope you all are, you all are understanding all those things so till then take a good care of yourself thank you very much